Hey guys, Pankaj here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today in statistics, we are going to see another small topic that is percentile uh, and quantile as well as interquartile range. Okay, so let me share my desktop. Okay, so what is there? Let me just clear it. Okay, so we'll see percentile and IQR, quantile and quartiles. And we will try to prove the some of the concept with the help of box plot. Okay, so what is basically percentile? So before going with this concept, right? So I recommend you to import all those library. You may need it uh, for generating the random sample or some of the values. Okay, and definitely for plotting, we need C1 or matplotlib. Okay, so, and we will create one data frame also. From data frame, we'll see like how we can take quartile or percentile for a given feature, okay, or for a given column. So let's see what is percentile. So the most common definition of percentile is number or rank where a certain percentage of scores fall below that number, okay? So where to use to understand grade ranking, test scores, health indicators, and other measurements, right? So let me uh, show you with the help of whiteboard, okay? So let's say what happened in the percentile. Let's say you have a set of values, one, two, three, four, five, six. This could be any value, okay? I'm just taking all from series. We have 10 values. So out of these 10 values, let's say these are nothing but uh, given a score or health record for a given person, right? Or some kind of maybe age or any, it could be anything, any number uh, it could be, correct? So when I say, uh, what is the percentile? What is the 50th percentile of this particular data set? Okay, so how we calculate? Basically, as I mentioned, the definition, right? It is nothing but a number or the rank, okay? And below that rank, all value falls between that particular percentile and above that, all value uh, is more than that percentile. So basically, as I mentioned, it is a number or rank. So how to calculate rank? Basically, uh, what is your percentile? That is, maybe let, let me reprint as P, divide by 100, because we are talking about percentage, right? Percentile. And multiply by the total number, okay? So I just mentioned total. So when I say, what is the 50th percentile of this particular data set? So P is nothing but 50 divided by 100 and total number of elements are 10, right? Just multiply this, this. So what is the rank? So rank is nothing but five. So what is my fifth rank here? So if I talk one, two, three, these are the rank I can give, okay? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So fifth rank is nothing but my 58th percentile of this data set, okay? This is nothing but your 58th percentile. Okay, so what exactly it means? So below the rank five, all number, whatever we see here, that falls below 50%. And above the fifth rank, that is 50th percentile, whatever number we have, those are greater than 58th percentile. Okay, so let's see another example. So let's say I'm going to calculate rank for what is my 85th percentile or maybe 80 percentile of this particular number. Okay, so let's go ahead and take percentile divided by 100, total number of elements 10. So we have eight. Now, where is my eight? The rank number eight is this. Okay, so this particular segment will represent 80th percentile. Okay, so below 88, whatever numbers we have, those are below 80. And whatever number we have above 80, those are more than 88th percentile. Okay, so that's how you calculate the rank. Okay, so this is the formula, simple formula. And uh, where exactly it is used? Uh, basically, it is used for, you know, uh, taking the or denoting minimum, uh, medium, and high range or high percentile for the given uh, set of a score or uh, maybe related to age, or it could be any kind of uh, recorded data. Okay, so that's where we use the percentile. And this is the simple formula to calculate the percentile or the rank basically. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, take some example and I'll, I'm just going to prove whatever we just saw in the whiteboard, right, with the help of box plot. Okay, so let's say I have one number here, a np dot a range,
I'm taking one to eleven because eleven will be truncated uh, to ten, right? And let's print a. So these ten numbers are there. So how to calculate percentile? We have something called np dot percentile. Okay, so this will take uh, your array or set of data. So array is nothing but a and what quantile or what percentile basically you want, right? So here, if you see, this q is nothing but your percentile value. Okay, so I want from this particular data, so I want 58 percentile. You just write 50, not here. Yes. Okay, so if you see here, 58 percentile, it is giving me 5.5. Why 5.5? Because first, what it is going to do, right? Whatever data set you are going to get, it may be random also, right? So first, you need to sort those random number, and it will be in the serial. From that random number, you take like middle value, correct? Because 50 percent is coming, right? So let's say if even numbers are there, so middle value will be two. So take the mean of those two. Okay, if it is odd number, then it will be just exactly the middle value will be your percentile, 50th percentile. Okay, so here I'm getting 50. So in case you want to see exactly five, what I can do, I'll just take total. Let's to make it simple, right? I'll just take 11 numbers. So here I'll take one to 11, yeah, you see here. Now it is taking exactly the middle value. So one to five is this and seven and nine and 11 is this. So 58th percentile value here is six. Okay, so that's what, uh, that's how you get the percentile. And here you can get all percentile. Let's say I want, what is my 25th percentile value? What is 58th percentile, 75th, and let's say 100 percentile value. So you can pass all the quantiles or percentile in the form of list or array, and it is going to return all the values, okay? So, so 25th percentile of from the given data set is coming as nothing but 3.5. Basically what we can do, you can just think of a data. Okay, so let's say one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, and I am going to divide this complete data set into four part. Okay, so how this four part will be there? Exactly this, three, three, like this. Correct. I think this is not. Uh, basically, you can take two to part, right? Two or maybe middle one because total even numbers are there, right? So because fifty-eight, uh, sorry, fifty percentile is coming somewhere in the middle, right? Okay, that is nothing but 5.5. So that's how you can take. So from here to here, you can get another 50% that will be falling somewhere here. From here to here, you can take another percentile, right? So this is your first quartile, this is your second quartile, third quartile and fourth quartile. Like that you can get, okay? So basically dividing whole data set into different, different segment. So if I take 50, it, it will be exactly 50% or the middle value of the given data set. If I say 80, it will be exactly 80% of that value. Okay. So that's what it is trying to get here and uh, giving me the correct values. Okay. So let's go ahead and understand uh, with the help of uh, box plot. Okay. So here, I got a mention here. So I'm going to plot the same value. So here we have SNS dot box plot of A. So I'll just give y equal to A and here I'll give width equal to let's say 0.4 and color equal to let's say green. Maybe I'll give so okay, let it go with the default value so that it will make sense. Okay. So what exactly it tells? I have talked about box plot in uh, matplotlib and seaborn also. So basically box plot, what it does, let me just represent this here. So you have a graph and you have one small plot. Okay, this is known as whisker. Okay. So basically this represents your min value. This represents your max value and beyond this, whatever you have, that will be outlier. Okay. And in the middle, you will have one line. This is nothing but your median line median of the whole data set, okay? So this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis, correct? So basically this line, whatever you see, right? This is nothing but your 25th percentile. This is your 58th percentile and this is your 75th percentile, okay? So what does it mean? All the data, which is whatever is the value represented at this, let's say here three. So below three, whatever comes, right? Those comes or those falls under 25th percentile. Okay, similarly here, let's say 50 is nothing but 
okay so below 5.5 value or the median value whatever data comes right those falls under 50th percentile value and similarly here, let's say 75 is nothing but let's say 8.5 or maybe let's say 8 okay so below 8 whatever values are there that falls under 75th percentile okay so that's what uh, you can get this particular uh, infer the, you can infer the data basically from this box plot. Okay, and this box plot is also known as five point summary. I think this I have already talked about this under C1 or Matplotlib. Why five point summary? Again, let me recap. You have box plot. So how many data it is representing? We have min. We have twenty five percent. We have fifty percent. We have seventy five percent. And here is your max. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and this is your min five. That is why it is called five point summary. Okay, remember that this is very helpful graph. And I'm going to show a couple of other details also so that you can correlate and find out how percentile work. Okay, now let me draw 25th percentiles, 50th percentile and 75th percentile value under this. Okay, so to do that, we have something called SNS dot swarm plot. Okay, so how to get those value which falls below 25% as per percentile. Okay, so I can just show you one example here. So NP dot percentile from A, I want 25th percentile. Okay, so what it is giving 3.5. So any value which is, let's say from A, I want any value which is A is less than 25 percentile, okay? So these are the value which falls below 25th percentile. Okay, that's what is the definition, right? So it's uh, percentile is nothing but a number or rank below which all the values are falling, okay? So let me plot this. So I'll just copy paste and put it here. Okay, so here I can give y equal to, and let me choose some color equal to red. I'll just highlight and maybe size equal to let's say five. Maybe I'll give 10. Yeah, much better, correct. So these are the value, right? Whatever you see here, these are nothing but the value. As I mentioned, this is the five point summary plot, right? Box plot. So this is the first line you see, right? That is nothing but your uh, 25th percentile. So below 25, 25th percentile, what are the value which we got? One, two, and three, okay? So let's go ahead and find out all the value which is nothing but below 50%. That is your second quartile. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I can do one more plot here. Let me just make it a little more clarified. So plt dot subplot, we will have one row and three representation in the first figure. So this is second figure and here, why I'm showing this because this will help you to understand the quantile percentile and how you can represent the data in the graph. Okay, and now this time I'm going with 50% and I'm going to choose maybe green color and this one I'll take as magenta color, let's see. P dot show. Okay, so that's what you see here. Maybe green is not visible properly, so what I'll do, I'll make it black. Yeah, black is much better, right? So you see here all the value, I think less than equal to less than equal to 25 and less than equal to 50 and less than equal to 75. This will be much better. Okay, you see here. So this is your 25th percentile data. This is your 20, 50% because as I mentioned, right, when you calculate the percentile, whatever rank you're getting, it means whatever rank values are value you have got right below that whatever value comes that falls under that particular percentile so when i say 50 percentile all the value which is coming in the fifth rank or whatever rank you got below that all the value will fall under 50 percentile 
okay so this is your 25th percentile this is your 50th percentile and this is your 70th percentile okay so i can do here maybe label equal to 25th percentile i hope it will take okay 20 dot listen Okay. Not sure why it is not going. Anyway, you got it right. You can see this later. Okay, so that's about percentile. Now let's talk about what is IQR. So IQR stands for interquartile range, right? So let's go back to the original figure here, and let me erase it. Or maybe I'll take the new one. So if you remember the box plot, what we did basically. So we took one box plot. Okay. And here it was showing median, right? Median is nothing but your 58 percentile. And this is your 25th percentile and this is your 75 percentile. Okay. So this, this three value, right? 25 and 50 and 75, right? Those are known as quartile range. Okay. Quartile range because it is depending range, right? So one is 25, another one is 50 and another one is 75, right? So when you take the range of these value, right? So you need to subtract 75, 25. That is nothing but range is 50. So all the value which is coming here that falls between this particular range, that is nothing but, so their mean and max value will vary between 50. Okay, that is what is your interquartile range. Okay, so I'll just mention I, Q, and R. So that's what interquartile range is there. So we can just plot it. SNS dot box plot A. Okay, and if you make it Y, then it will be reprinted as vertical. Okay, guys, so basically this blue line or blue box, you see middle that whatever is coming, that is nothing but your IQR between 25 to 75th percentile. Okay, now coming to quantile, what is quantile? similar to percentile where to use. If you want to rank data into categories such as high, medium, and low, then go with the quantile classification. Okay. So even if you take those values, np dot quantile. So here, instead of uh, for percentile, we were giving any value, right? One to one percentile, two percentile, three percentile, or 20th percentile. So those will be anything between one to hundred, but here this will be, well, this value will be between zero to one. Okay. So if you see here, this Q will fall from zero to one, see here, zero to one. So I can give, let's say 50 percentile. So convert into percentage divided by basically 100, 50 divided by 100, that is nothing but 0.5. So I want value, which is 50th quantile. What is that? Six. And that is what we got here, right? 50th percentile is nothing but C. So either you mention 50, so that will be under percentile. If you divide by 100, that will become 0.5 that you can use at quantile. Okay. Similarly here, you can get all the quantile value, anything between, you know, zero to one. So let's say I want maybe 10 quantile value and 30 quantile value. And let's say 80 quantile value and one. So it is going to print. So 10 percentile or 0.1 quantile, that is two. 30 percentile or 0.3 quantile, that is four. 80 percentile or 8 per, uh, point 0.8 uh, quantile, that is nothing but nine. And the 100 percentile, that is nothing but one. That will be your last value. Okay, so that is the highest rank or highest grade, whatever you got. So that's how you calculate the quantile. And here I mentioned what is quartile basically. So as I mentioned, zero quartile is zero quantile because here we have divided the whole data, right? So let's say we have zero to 100. Let's understand in this way, right? So this will be your, your 25 and this will be your 50 
and this will be your 75. If you see here, there are four uh, segment, right? So 25 percentile, 50 percentile, 75. So these are nothing but represented as a quarter. So this is first quarter, this is two by four, this is three by four, this is four by four. That's why it is called as quartile. Now probably you'll get why it is called as quar. Quar word, why it is used? Because it has been divided into four quarter, right? So one four, 22 four, three four, and four four. So one four is nothing but 25 percentile, two four is nothing but 50 percentile, three four is nothing but 75 percentile, and four by four, that is one. That will be your 100 percentile, okay? So this, this is about percentile. Now coming to quantile, if you talk about one quantile, this is your one quantile. This is your second quantile, this is your third quantile, and this is your fourth quantile. Okay, that's what is mentioned here. So your first quartile is nothing but first quartile equal to 0.25%. That is, sorry, 0.25 quantile or 25 percentile. That's what you see here. Let me change the color. So your first quartile, this is nothing but quartile. Okay, I'll just mention. First quartile, that is nothing but one fourth or 0.25 or 25 percentile. Okay. Then similarly, second, we have two by four, that is your 0 0.50 quantile or 50 percentile. Now, third quartile is nothing but your three fourth, that is your 0 0.75 quantile or 75 percentile. And total were four quartile, you will not say, you will take total one quantile. Okay. So here, if you see what I have written, basically fourth quarter, right? The total four quarter equal to one quantile. Okay. That's what you got here, 100 percent, right? So fourth quarter is nothing but four by four quantile. That is nothing but one percentile, 100 percent percentile. Okay. So that's how you calculate. And I hope you will not have any confusion about percentile quantile and quartile okay so if you are getting confusion watch the video first and probably you try to draw this using box plot then it will make your life easy for understanding this particular part okay so that's all about this guys uh, i hope you understood uh, percentile quartile and quantile and if you have any difficulty please leave out your comment in the comment box and i'll help you guys to understand it better in the next video okay thank you so much bye, -bye.